Awesome peanut growing and harvesting. Modern agriculture technology. We know Yakimata, a city in Japan, is considered convenient for the growth of peanuts. Georgia, Alabama, North Carolina, Texas, and Oklahoma are considered the top states for peanut growth. Anyhow, unlike other plants, the flowers of peanuts blossom outside of the ground. But their fruit nourishes below the ground. With the help of specialized machines, they dig the earth, mix up the soil, and place the plants into the ground. Hit the bell icon to watch similar videos and give a thumbs up to this one. Peanuts growing process. Casually, peanuts are considered to be planted in April or May after the last frost. It begins when soil temperature approaches 65 to 70 Fahrenheit. Typically, pre-plant cultivation makes sure a perfect seed bed, while a few farmers pay favor to some type of typical tillage. It generally includes planting into a winter cover crop or previous field remainings. Seeds are planted 4 to 5 centimeters in the U.S., while in the southeast and southwest they are planted 5 to 10 centimeters. However, the row spacing depends on the type of seed and also on the planting and harvesting equipment utilized. Peanuts may be planted once or twice to manage their broad, wide leaves, cannabis, and grass. For perfect production, it needs a climate of 200 frost-free days. Hot weather climates, sufficient water, and fertile sandy ground give an output in the appearance of peanut leaves in 10 to 14 days after cultivation. Usually, every peanut grower follows a three-year rotation pattern. We'll add one more fact here. Many growers use irrigation to lessen the stress on their plants. In this way, they enhance their production of high-quality peanuts. To control weeds, bushes, insects, diseases, and fungal objects that appear troublesome, they need chemical control over them. Weeds can be controlled by chemical or mechanical methods and sometimes by combining them, despite various pest issues. Healthy and organic peanuts can be avail and grown in drier western peanut growing regions. They are drought and salinity. Therefore, peanut irrigation plays a very essential and game-changing role in quality production. Peak watering can be useful during pegging and pod development. During this span, the crop may need 0.3 to 0.4 inches of water each day. However, it depends on the area and climate where you have planted the peanuts. Soil moisture is crucial near the surface during and after fastening to give the best opportunities to peg piercing into the soil and pod progress. Hope it enhances your understanding of water requirements and makes you realize its profitability and peanut yield through the implications of proper and best management operation. To keep soil moisturized, peanuts should increase their 50% weight in water. It helps in fast growing and lasts for about 25 to 40 days. Furtherly, flowers blossom next, and it indicates that the production process in the peanut plants has begun. At this stage, sufficient water can affect the bloom. Even in many cases, extreme watering can completely hamper blooming. Sounds stressy? Well, don't get worried and pay attention to each of your steps. After completion of about 105 days, limited growth appeared. The peanut field's water needs to reduce now. However, irrigation must be implemented as needed basis. Dry weather also progresses the development of spiders and fungi, Aspergillus flavus. It promotes aflatoxin defile. The only solution is to water the crops in time. Generally, the peanut plant had considered in Peru or Brazil in South America, but is native to the Western Hemisphere. Experts couldn't find any fossil records. They had discovered some pottery in South America that had been made in the peanut shape about 3,500 years ago. The initial hybrid would have been infecund, but unprompted chromosome doubling reinstate its fertility, establishing what is termed an amphidiploid. The peanut journey is fascinating traveling north to Mexico and West Indies, where it was planted. When the Spaniards came back to Europe, peanuts traveled with them. 
It has been widely planted in both tropics and subtropics. Moreover, it is a valuable crop for small and large commercial manufacturers. Well, in 2016, peanut annual production was 44 million tons. And surprisingly, China was the country that led it by providing 38% of the world yield. Peanuts links with the botanical species generally define as the legume bean, or pea family. Peanuts need less nitrogen-containing fertilizer and make better soil fertility, making them precious in crop rotation. According to the botanical definition, a nut is a fruit whose ovary wall turns firm at maturity period. Considering this definition, a peanut is not a nut. However, they are usually defined as nuts for appetizing purposes. As we all know, peanut has different names such as groundnut, goober, pindar, or monkey nut. Groundnut cultivation is a profitable agro-business venture. It enables a huge turnover in the investment, especially when the right techniques are applied. Surprisingly, you can plant them in a large variety of environments. Just keep in mind that it blooms well in arid and semi-arid areas, needing a favorable temperature. How do they harvest the peanuts from the grounds and add them to our dining tables? Let's see. While forwarding to winter, their leaves turn vibrant yellowish or orange and begin to fall from the plants. When they seem to wither, be sure that the time has come to harvest them. Harvesting the peanuts is a two-way procedure. A grower used a machine to harvest, known as a digger along the peanut rows. It works significantly. It pulls out the whole plant and flips it upside down. This process incredibly sets it back down on the row. In this form, plants remain for a few days. After it dried up, another machine called the picker separates the peanuts from the plant. Harvesting starts in September and October. As far as in Oklahoma and Mexico, it lasts until November. Interestingly, peanuts have a long period of growing compared to other crops. After all this process, 10% of peanuts convert into next year's seeds. Meanwhile, the other 90% before shifting to market transfer to a sheller. However, before this step, harvested peanuts are separated and graded by the Agricultural Marketing Service to maintain their quality and taste. Then they are headed to shellers where these machines separate the kernels from shells and inspect them again. This time they inspect under the color sorting device that ends any discolored kernels. In the same procedure, they eliminate dust, vine, extra oil, and stones. They then restore them according to their sizes, colors, and varieties. Finally, they are ready for the market consumers. When it reaches the market, different companies purchase for restoring the peanuts for their final results, such as peanut butter, peanut creams, or peanut cheese cream. Many of them use peanuts as their evening snack. Sounds funny, but roasted peanuts have an irresistible taste. Hope you enjoy it till the end. Make sure to share the mesmerizing journey of peanuts with your friends. Farewell to all those fellows who love farming. Stay flourishing with new ideas and stay tuned until the next video.